recording going and the recording is on and I think away to you so I'll hand it over guys thank you yeah thanks thanks a lot and um, thanks thanks a lot for organizing this event and keep the controls so tightly in your hands I, it's a really excellent job uh, on are there for the organizers uh, amazing amazing um, my name is Gabor Kishmihok. I'm um, the head of learning and skill analytics uh, research group, at which is the Leibniz Information Center for. And uh, yeah, welcome to my home office. We have been stranded here for about 20 days. This is days, and according to the government, we have 80 more days to go. So it's a lot. Apologize uh, in advance that if you hear screaming around me, those are my kids. But I guess this is normal uh, in these circumstances. So today um, I want or we want to talk uh, about OER recommendations to support career development of individual projects. Um, uh, part of um, a European Union, um, uh, European Commission finance. A project, but it's a bit bigger than that. Uh, institutions to work on this project. One is TIB, we lead the project, and the other one is uh, University of Amsterdam. Stefan Moll and Ellenberg are the ones who participate uh, in that team. And our point of departure, uh, let me move I don't think I have to introduce. Uh, Specialization uh, here in this uh, group and how educational technology to uh, personalize education and learning. Um, we are in the. Uh, we believe that learning is getting more and more personal. It's driven by a great number of uh, individual goals. Now we have the opportunity to sort of control and react uh, or to those uh, individual needs. The big question, what I've been uh, facing uh, in the past years, that actually who's responsible for learning uh, when it comes to personalization? So mostly we are active in, um, in the higher education uh, uh, sector. So uh, what we do is mostly focus on higher education and especially in the Netherlands and in, um, in Germany, uh, responsibility is mostly on the institute teachers. There is very little it lies on on the shoulders of which if you think about it, it's it's very strange because once these people leave academia, once these people leave uh, higher education and they start work uh, somewhere in in, uh, in in these two countries or wherever around the globe, suddenly they become responsible themselves for their own career development, for their own um, self-development. And this is not really learn, um, actually, at least not um, in, in our uh, uh, settings. So we want to uh, um, uh, a problem and we sort of decided in this project to, to try to empower learners a bit and empower learners through open personalized learning and curriculum recommendations which reflect on labor market needs and which vast amount of open educational um, uh, content across the globe so more specifically uh, with uh, and this is a research project so we have a number of scientific objectives uh, what we um, need to keep in mind one is that we want to uh, contribute to the understanding of learner behavior through goal setting so we want to uh, look at the efficacy of goal setting in education uh, surprisingly uh, there's very little amount of research uh, uh, happening in in this area then we also want to contribute to the literature of self-regulated learning um, with developing normalized uh, curricula, understanding the uh, difference between individual uh, uh, between the individual pathway of 
different individual learners. And looking at the attitudinal changes um, in learners uh, when it comes to uh, um, this type of um, uh, technology. And last but not at least, we also want to introduce um, methods which uh, sort of pull in non-educational data sources uh, to education, especially in, in learning content development, curriculum design, or um, learning evaluation. We also have some very practical uh, objectives. Uh, that's basically building a recommender system, which helps uh, uh, which suggests uh, relevant open learning content uh, to our learners. Uh, we want to um, make learners to target uh, skills and jobs they uh, like individually and they want to master individually. And we want to help our learners during the projects by providing visualizations and individual feedback. So how, how do we want to do this? Our, our concept image and uh, basically we want to start the, the process with goal setting. So all learners who interact with our system should set a goal, a skill or a job they want to master or they want to do uh, after their studies. This job, we try to uh, of that job. How, how do we do that? We text mine uh, vacancy announcement, official um, occupational classification systems, and the two sources of um, information. We sort of distill all those skill, skill needs, what the students, uh, what the student need to master in order to be a professor. The students selected. Then, based on this information and based on the profile of um, of the person, so what educational background this person has, uh, where is the physical location, and so on and so forth, we create a learning pathway uh, for this person, and we fill this learning pathway with educational content. This is uh, coming from open educational resources, but we also think about um, applying content uh, for this purpose. And last but not at least, we uh, use analytics um, to provide feedback on his or her progress um, learning pathway. This is very important because goal setting is not a static activity. It's not only once, but as you progress towards your goals, you need the opportunity to reflect on your goals, your goals, or even change it completely. Maybe after one year or so, you decide, okay, this is not going, not my dream job. And when creating a new learning pathway, uh, we can consider all what you learned for your new uh, targets, for your new objectives. So this is the general concept. And now I hand over the microphone to Reza, who will uh, tell you uh, the technicalities and uh, show you the, uh, the prototype to make this idea uh, come true. So Reza, the microphone is yours. Thanks, Gabor. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, based on uh, the concept Gabor just explained, uh, we have built our first prototype focused on data science related job. Uh, according to the huge changes in skills demanded by labor market, uh, we believe that OERs have potential to handle the increasing need for education uh, since they are provided by people in different contexts such as country, city, job, and so on. So we have implemented our approach based on OERs. Uh, in our dashboard, users can select their target job, which can be their current or future job. Afterwards, 
uh, we show them the required skills for that job. To match jobs and the required skills, we analyze job vacancies, as Gabriel said, uh, using text mining approaches. After that, uh, we ask uh, users to set their expertise level for each of the skills. So according to the expertise levels, uh, we built a learning profile for users using similar learners such as the ones with same uh, job, same country, same city, and provide personalized OER recommendation for each of the target skills. After finishing uh, each of the recommended OERs, uh, we ask learners for their satisfaction and update uh, their uh, preference profile based on their rating. Uh, we also update users' expertise level as well until they get mastery level in all of the target skills. Uh, here, uh, we have some screenshots from our dashboard. As you can see here, users can search to find their target job uh, set their expertise level each of, uh, in each of the required skills that we suggest to learn. Here you can see the learning dashboard where users can find the recommended OERs and their details. Also users can change the recommended OER whenever they want. And moreover, uh, this page shows the users' goals, reports on the finished OERs and their progress. For instance, uh, the uh, user reached uh, his or her goal in data visualization, as you can see. We validated our first prototype uh, focused on data science uh, related jobs by semi-structured interviews with 15 PhD students and eight university instructors in the area of data science. Uh, in the first 15 minutes, uh, we presented our research problem and the proposed approach. Afterwards, we asked them to use our prototype at least for 15 minutes. And finally, we interviewed them using a questionnaire, which asked uh, about our objectives, our logic, and our contribution to learning. And now I'm going to show you the output. So, er, sorry. So regarding the objectives, the interviewees mentioned that uh, there is a potential value in building a labor market information uh, based on OERs. And also they told that finding useful OERs are compl complicated and time consuming. So high quality recommendation and search services are required. And they also suggest, uh, suggested that we should also cover people who want to learn specific skills without targeting any job. For logic, uh, they told that with this approach, we help learners focus on the most important elements of their current and future jobs. Uh, also, our process for extracting learners' properties grab their attention, and uh, they suggest us to improve uh, our assessment parts by asking technical or non-technical questions. And finally, regarding our contribution to learning, the interviewee, interviewees mentioned that uh, interacting with learners in order to recognize their preferences is one of the most important and engaging components of our proposed approach. Furthermore, they thought that setting specific and personalized goals uh, for
for each skill in our prototype system has a strong positive effect on the learning process. And they told that we should capture more learners' preferences, such as their favorite types of OERs, for example, uh, videos, presentations, pictures, and so on. Therefore, as the next steps, uh, we are going to add more OER repositories, uh, extracting and extracting learners' properties. Uh, also, uh, we should decompose skills into meaningful components in order to have better assessment for learners' level of expertise and build a more suitable learning path. Uh, and now, I give the floor to Gabor again to conclude our presentation. Yeah, so I, I just want to <coughs> wrap this up very quickly. Uh, we already have some uh, publications and resources available. I, uh, we put them here on this slide. So later uh, you can check this paper out if you want more information and want to uh, go a bit deeper in this topic. But of course, you shouldn't hesitate to contact us uh, through email or uh, through Twitter. As you know, we will make uh, this uh, system public in the upcoming weeks under oer-recommender.com. So um, it's, it's going to be a, a, a public uh, a service that um, uh, you will be able to uh, use as well. As uh, Reza said, our first uh, deployment will be in the area of data science, but we are planning to, to open it up to other areas as well quite soon. And last but least, um, thank you very much for your attention. If you uh, can and if you're interested in this topic, please uh, provide us a, a feedback. We, we have a short survey where we, what we usually use to capture um, the feedback of audience and uh, other relevant stakeholders. So please don't hesitate to uh, take this uh, a link or uh, take a, capture this QR code and uh, give us some um, yeah, feedback about, the, about this topic. So thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, please uh, let us know. We are happy to answer. Wow, thank you very much for a wonderful session. That's really, really interesting. And we will, um, obviously, everybody will be able to see the link um, in the chat as well.